Hi there, I'm Michelle the Painter. I'm on camera today as one of my favorite parts of the month to announce our official painting contest winners. So I have a contest every single month in Michelle's painting group on Facebook, which is with our Patreon members. All of the members get to participate. It's a fabulous group. We've got about 1,500 members. And in this group, every month we have a contest, a painting contest. And this month, or for August, it was the title was Fruity Tootie. So all of these paintings are gonna be based on fruit, <laughs> which is super fun. Um, but what we do is for first, second, and third place, they get voted on by all of the painting painter peers, members within the group. So it's really great. Everybody's in there to inspire, encourage, enlighten, to educate each other. It's just a fabulous group. So you get voted on by your painting peers for first, second, and third. And then for the fourth and the fifth place, those are Michelle's personal picks. <laughs> so I get to go through all these fantastic entries and pick ones that I feel for whatever reason, get my special votes. <laughs> so here I'm going to announce those. Um, the, the amount or the prize winnings that everybody gets. The fourth and fifth place are each going to win $50. The third place wins $100. The second place wins $300. And the first place prize winner wins $500. So it's a really valuable cash prize <laughs> as well as many other valuable reasons that come along with entering these contests. So without further ado, here is our fifth place Michelle's pick winner for the contest is... This is Strawberries and Cream by Deborah Holland. So the reason why I picked this one is I just wish I had it in my kitchen. <laughs> but aside from me wanting it in my kitchen, I think that it's a really cool decorative design. It's set up in a triptych, which means that there's three pieces. You can separate these on a wall. You can kind of place them in varying places in a room. So they're all kind, they're, they're harmonious with one another. You stick them together and it looks like one large picture. So I just really, I liked the color scheme on it. I liked the decorative elements. So there was a lot of great design elements in this that caught my attention. So congrats, Miss Deborah. The fourth place winner, another Michelle pick, goes to Life on a Farm by Robin Shuckman. The reason why this one got my attention, I live in New England, which is the upper east corner of the United States, and we have a billion farms, little uh, farms all over, peppering our landscape, which is beautiful for one, but this just spoke to about every farm that I drive by on a daily basis. And not only does it strike me personally because of how endearing it is to me where I live, but I, the more I looked at it, just the more I admired the amount of attention to detail that Robin put in it. I mean, if you look closely at this painting, she's got cows, she's got fences, she's got a, a, a shovel, wheelbarrow, she's got corn stalks and pumpkins. I mean, there's so a sign that I can read what it says. There's so many details and she has two buildings. It was just very impressive to me, the amount of attention to detail that she put in it. There's great perspective in it. So there's just so many things that were impressive to me on this one. So she got my vote. So congrats, Miss Robin. Third place vote, which is voted on by the peers, is Roberto Zamundo with Drops. I believe, not only is this a great painting, but I believe that it, it caught people's attention because of its simplistic nature, but it's just well executed. And it, I think just the richness of the colors that he put into it, it just sparked people's emotions. And I find that that's typically in my in my opinion, where people vote. They vote for things that spark their emotions. And I think this this one got to people just because of its simplicity and it's, so, it's just very pretty. So congrats, Roberto. The second place winner goes to Summertime Finger Food by Vicki Campbell. I think this speaks to every adult <laughs> who's ever watched a little kid, had a little kid during the summertime, giving them these fresh summer vegetables and fruits, just that delight on their face. But not only is the, the imagery very sweet, but the, the execution with the 
from the color of the hair to the twinkle in the eyes to the to the smushed red watermelon face <laughs> everything about it just speaks to a, a well composed image so congratulations to Vicky our first place winner goes to Ta-da! Monkey Business by Terry Labou uh, I just think that she executed this really well and I think that the the hair is really cool the twinkle again a twinkle in the eye there's lots of expression to it it's just a really neat painting so congratulations to Terry and to all of the winners in this month's contest again we have a contest every single month the one for September is listed down in the video description below so you can find out all the information down there and I do want to as always thank everybody who participates and who submits your paintings this month I think we had over I think like 270 entries so it's it really is a lot of entries so to to win is is a great accomplishment for all of the artists and it gets your your paintings exposed and all that wonderful stuff so thank you for everybody for your participation and I look forward to your future entries that I get to take a look at and vote on